uh, <laughs> uh, NFL media. Ah, oh, man. Man, 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 it, it, it's nasty how they do these players because it, they really treat these players that, like, they're not, like, they don't have feelings that, like, they don't got stuff going on as if they're not celebrities or if they're not human. And if you don't know, Jason Kelsey, brother Travis Kelsey, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame offensive lineman for the uh, Philadelphia Philadelphia Eagles, they recently took an L. Their season is over. His season is over. He's in Cancun with my Bengals, my Cincinnati Bengals. And he's been thinking about retiring for a very long time now. Uh, he's up there in age. I believe he's about 36, 38. And, and after the loss, it was reported that he was telling his teammates that, yeah, bro, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> and, you know, I, I – I can't blame him if he did say that because, you know, it's a tough loss, man. This team started off 10-1, and one, and I believe they ended up losing 6-7. or seven. And it, it's tough. It's tough. If if this was my team, I don't know how I'd deal with it, let alone being a player for the team. So he came out on his own podcast, and this is why it's beautiful that these players have their own platforms now because they can say what they feel. And I'm I'm sure he did say that he I'm pretty sure he was telling his teammates that he's retiring. I'm pretty sure he was crying on the field. He was crying like he it looked like he was crying in the locker room. And then he when he speaks to the media, and you know what you can say whatever you want about these uh, journalists and media personalities, but they would not ruin their reputation. They would not ruin because all you when it comes to journalists and stuff, and when it comes to even me. I'm not I don't look at myself as a journalist but a commentator. All you can do is trust me. All we really got all I have with my listeners and the people who listen to me is trust. So once that trust is gone, it's over. So I don't think they'll lie about something like that. Now, Trav or Jason Kelsey did clear something up. Him and his brother have a podcast together and he cleared up that um he He's thinking about it. He don't know yet. He hasn't come to a clear conclusion. Now, me personally, I would think that he would come back for one more season. I don't know any player who wants to go out like that, man. They went out bad. The tush push got exposed. He, uh, his whole team got exposed. Jalen Hurts got exposed. It, it was bad. It was bad. They got blown the fuck out. It was, uh, you can't go out like that, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got a little bit fighting you. You got to, bro. That's tough, man. And, you know, it, it, you got a Super Bowl in 2017, but I'm sure you want more. I'm sure you want one more. Your brother got two on you. He got Taylor Swift. And it, it seems like you won't you won't really want that lifestyle, but you can't you can't let your brother go out with one more than you. You can't. And I don't know how much time Travis Kelsey even got left on his body. You a Cincinnati legend. Both of y'all are Cincinnati legends. So, you know what I'm saying? But I, I respect y'all. But you can't you can't let your brother go out with one more than you, especially when you got a Super Bowl caliber roster. And, you know, the, your coach is, is getting a lot of scrutiny right now. But you had one bad season. You had one bad season. You can't retire after that. I understand you getting up there in age, but come on, man. You got to make a comeback. And this is me. I'm a Bengals fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, I'll be fair. To be fair, if you were on the AFC, I would be telling you to retire. <laughs> if you were for the Steelers, nigga, I would have told you to retire after the Super Bowl. But, yeah, you might as well come back for one season. If you're thinking about it, that's that that's a, that's all you need to know. You're thinking about it. So, come back for another season, big bro. You know what I'm saying? Actually, uh, <laughs> do that shit out of spite. If it was me, I'm doing that shit out of spite just to the media, like Tom Brady. They, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta show these, 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 this media, man. They did the same thing to Andrew Luck, got him booed in his in his own field. They ruined it for Tom Brady. It, 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 the media is nasty, and you gotta do this shit out of spite. And for the next 17 games, <laughs> think about how the media try to ruin your surprise or ruin your retirement or ruin your last game, man. Man, fuck that. Fuck that. You can come back. You can come back. You got 17 more games in you. You can do it. You can do it. And I'm saying this as a Dallas, uh, Dallas, <laughs> Dallas Cowboys hater. So, you know, you can come back. One more. One, one more season, big bro. 